Learning to Surf. I'm Nathaniel Fife, and today we're working on front side bottom turns. So I want to practice my balance with some slack lining, but uh, my slack line is currently being used to keep that tree up. Enough slack lining, time to get to the beach and catch some waves. Two videos on front side bottom turns, links are in the description. Drop in, compress, reach hold, look where we're going, uncompress up the wave looking where we're going at the lip. And here's the second video. Is shifting your weight. You've just popped up to your feet, you're shifting your weight to the back of the board, and you're going to hit that turn. You know, on a front side wave, that back leg, your foot's going to be to the right hand side of the stringer, you're going to lean into it, and you're just going to come out of that turn really fast. The surf was choppy due to crosswind, as you can see by the sea foam being blown across the beach here. But I went for it anyway. I'm going to be looking to compress, shift back, uh, tip the board by getting on my toes, leaning, reaching, and looking to the lip. So on this first clip, let's see how I do. Uh, I think I need to lean back more, or shift back more. I don't think I was shifting back enough here. Here, I lean very well, I'm getting on my toes, stepping the board, but I don't get the weight on the back of the board, so the board doesn't move and I just fall over. Learning from the last clip, I get my weight back and I turn the board, but I'm just still leaning too much and fall over again. Now I've got it figured out, I do a successful turn. I like how I compress here and I reach for that water and I get my turn. All right, I can do it now. Here's another clip where I successfully do a bottom turn. I, I turn completely and turn right off the wave. So here we go, bottom turns, got it. I like this clip here because the first time I'm not successful. So I try again and really get the weight back on the board and you can see a second time I get that board to turn. So uh, definitely learning here. This clip really illustrates the importance of doing all this stuff right or nothing's gonna happen. You got to lean, you got to shift that weight back and really reach. There I wasn't doing anything but kind of swaying my arms, trying to twist with my hips and shoulders, but without my feet or really body weight doing anything correct. You may be wondering why I'm just here surfing white water. Uh, the surf was very rough. It was uh, four foot swells with a period of about six seconds, but the winds were at 20 miles per hour and just going across the beach. I did try to go out back and catch some of these waves you see in the background here, but the current was just pulling me and I was getting out of the range of the camera, working really hard and not really catching any waves. So lesson learned here, uh, just because the swell's big doesn't mean that it's necessarily good surf. Uh, there was a guy that came out and was surfing in the background a clip here of him catching a wave. Talking to him, he was got really worn out and really only caught one decent wave the whole time he was out there. So, uh, you know, I made the best of the conditions that were there. Merry Christmas, everybody. Check out Mormon.org. Have fun and keep it real.